Welcome to the O'Brien Shade Basics. Let's talk about dehydration. Arguably, shade matching is one of the most challenging aspects of what we do. It's a lot easier to say if a margin is closed or a crown is in occlusion, but shades are nuanced. Does it match, does it blend, or is it completely off? Sometimes shades are just completely off, but sometimes there are simple ways to help correct that. When you do have a lot of work with shade photography, it isn't long before you notice some things that just need a little adjustment. When to take the shade is one of those easy adjustments that can make a big difference. When we see photos with shade tabs next to a fully prepared tooth, we know that this is an at the end of the procedure shade choice. Shade photos taken at the end of the preparation procedure are great for giving us the shade of the prep, but not so good at giving us the shade that we need to match the natural teeth. Teeth dehydrate rapidly, and when they do, the shade will jump one to two shades lighter, maybe more, very easily. This isn't an issue if we're matching existing crowns, but natural teeth react quickly and dramatically during the preparation procedure. When the patient's mouth is open and those teeth are exposed to air for however long it takes to do one or more preps, everything is changing. All that exposure to the air is drying the teeth out, and during that time, the shade is getting lighter and lighter. When we look at a shade photo, we're looking at comparisons between the known value of the shade tab and what we're being asked to match to. As the tooth dehydrates, the natural translucence is lost, making the tooth look more opaque and higher value. The surface of the tooth may take on a cloudy appearance that's easily mistaken for surface character. Then what happens is the shade is taken, the crown is fabricated, and a week later the patient comes back for a seating with their teeth fully hydrated, greater chroma, and more translucent, and a restoration that doesn't come close. If you find your restorations coming back too light, especially in the anterior position, take a moment and think about where in the preparation procedure you're taking the shade. If you're doing it at the end, consider moving the shade determination to the very beginning of the appointment. See if that helps. Seeing shade tabs next to unprepared teeth gives us greater confidence that what we're seeing compared to the shade tabs isn't going to change when you see the patient at the final seating. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. I'm Mitch for O'Brien Dental Lab.